you guys welcome back to my channel vlogging on my phone because i don't have my camera with me currently but i wanted to just intro this video now because i'm going to be doing a little sunday vlog sunday mornings i'm usually at my boyfriend keikoa's um and he is temporarily living in orange county so i come and visit him on the weekends so it's sunday i leave usually sunday mornings sometimes saturday night but this week was a Sunday morning week, so that's what is going on right now. It's 9.24, we just left. I say we because Taco's here with me. I just mobile ordered some Starbucks and I'm going through the drive-thru line to pick it up right now and it's very long, so. This will only be a temporary phone vlog because once I get home, I'll have my camera, but I forgot to bring it. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. And if you're not new, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. How's it going? Good, how are you? I am absolutely wonderful. I might have had too much espresso, but hey, I've been up since like four o'clock this morning. <laughs> I might have a heart attack later, but you know, it, was like, it was worth it. <laughs> All right, what do we got today? Um, I actually just have a mobile order pickup for Lauren. Perfect, let me go look for that real quick. Okay. All right, is it L-A-U-R-Y-N? Yes. Perfect, all right, I see it right here. Are we getting anything else? Um, No, that's it. All right, I'll see you up at the window. Thank you. Yeah. There you are. Thank you. Can I get a straw? So cute. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. He's so baby. excited. He is. Oh, oh turned three months. Hey. Oh, oh, <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> hey. Oh, nice. Oh my god. Can I take a photo? Yeah. He's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's literally been a dog day. You are adorable. Hello. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, you guys have a good one. Thank you. You too. Goodness, Rocco, you attract a crowd. Okay, I need to park somewhere and put on my GPS because I don't have directions yet. So I'm gonna do that. They were literally obsessing over Rocco. It was kind of funny. Rocco was just barking at them. So here's my Starbucks order. I got a, I'm actually switching it up from my normal like espresso drink. So I got a grande iced coffee with extra caramel drizzle, soy milk, two pumps of brown sugar, and then no classic syrup. So good. Look how yummy this looks. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna put in directions, head home. I'm probably not gonna vlog till I get home because there's nothing. It's just a very long drive and I usually just listen to a podcast. Um, So yeah, I'm going to head home and i'll let you guys know when i get home hello we're back home obviously it's because i'm vlogging on my camera now and obviously i'm in my house but we just got back up and i just unpacked the car and all that brought all the bags in it always takes two trips because we have so many bags together collectively so just got back in and i threw a crew neck on because it's kind of cold i'm gonna put this tripod on really quick brb first thing i always do is unpack my bag and throw everything in the washing machine because they usually have quite Excuse me, mister. I usually have quite a lot of stuff to wash. Um, that's what I'm gonna do right now is just throw everything in the washing machine and then do a load. I also have face masks that need to go in there. And yeah, so I'm just gonna no continue to unpack our bags and then probably clean up the apartment a little bit because I always leave it a little bit messy when I leave because I'm just so excited to leave. So that's the deal. We're gonna unpack. Mako's being crazy because he was trapped in a car for an hour, but that's what we're gonna do. And yeah. There is a giant fly and it just keeps running into the mirrors. And I'm scared it's gonna run into me. Okay, I think it left. It was literally a giant, like, horse fly size. So, <laughs> that wasn't too fun, but I'm throwing everything in the wash, doing a little laundry, and just getting myself back on track and into a routine. And those are like my routine days, so that's what I'm doing. I also have a load in here right now, so I'm just gonna do like a quick little refresh, like a 10 minute um, quick fluff is what it's called. And then, yeah. Look at this crazy monster. Rocco, <laughs> guess who's three months old today? <laughs> You're three months old today. You're 12 weeks old today. You can definitely tell he's literally getting so big, you guys. And every time that I go and see my boyfriend on the weekend, since he doesn't see him for a whole week, he says, oh my gosh, like he's so much bigger. And also his roommate um, and his roommate's girlfriend, because we're all there usually. They're always like, oh my gosh, he's so big. And then my mom comes and visits on Wednesdays, so she has a whole week 
um, without seeing him. So like they're able to really see his growth. I am too. Like when I see him, I'm like, oh my gosh, you've gotten so big. But I can't like tell a difference like daily because I see the progression, you know. Um, so it's just crazy. But he is three months old today. And now that I think about it, I really need to schedule his second round of shots, which is in a couple weeks, I think, which is exciting. But yeah, he's honestly getting a lot better with the biting and everything. He's like kind of learned that it's like not a good thing and also the barking like i can get him to stop he's chewing on this you know whatever um but yeah i think i'm gonna probably just continue cleaning up the apartment and just like putting things away and then i might take a trip to target because i really need to go to target and get a few things that i need so hopefully he will tire himself out so that he can fall asleep and i'm able to put him in his crate and like he can chill and then i can go get some things done it's 11:20 for time reference i'm also very excited because i'm gonna try a new like workout tonight or maybe yoga i don't know i've been so out of my workout game lately so just to get back in it and do something small is gonna be really exciting and I'm excited for it. Don't know how it's gonna go with Rocco, but we're gonna just figure it out and get it done because I've been stalling it for so long. So yeah. Also, obviously I have lashes again. <laughs> He just wants to play, oh my gosh. But yeah, if you did not notice, I got my lashes done again and they are very long and voluminous. My sister and I went to a new lash lady because your prices are very, very good and her, obviously her product is very good. What? But we wanted to try it out, so we both got lashes, and I love them. They're very long, a little bit longer than I'm used to, and yeah, but they're nice to have again, definitely. So much easier to get ready in the mornings. <laughs> Gonna finish cleaning up, probably eat something too, because I haven't eaten anything today. I just had coffee, but... <laughs> Sit down, <laughs> boy. <laughs> no bark, no bark, no bark. Good boy. I just posted this picture for Rocco's three months on his Instagram. If you don't follow him, you should. Golden boy Rocco on Insta. Look at this face. Oh my gosh. But when we feel the things are crazy, we stay at home making babies. I wish stay home. Alright you guys, I just made some brunch because it's 11.45. Um, I'm gonna throw on a YouTube video while I eat it and then probably head to Target because Rocco's about to fall asleep. I just make the easiest little breakfast open sandwich. It's a Trader Joe's everything ciabatta roll, some ham and then a fried egg on top and some Cholula hot sauce. So good. So I'm just gonna watch the video really quickly, like a 15 minute video. Just got to Target. Here's my current situation. He's literally going crazy in his crate right now and there's literally nothing I can do about it and I feel really bad and really bad for my neighbors but I'm at Target. I'm gonna go in and get a few things that I need and then I try to be as quick as possible so I can get home because of him but yeah, let's go. All right, so I just got done at Target. I was literally checking on Rocco every few minutes, um, and he literally barked the whole time. Not just bark, but like high-pitched yelping, and he was like going crazy. I don't know why, he's not usually like that. He usually falls asleep after like a few minutes, but he like just fell asleep. So I think I'm gonna go to Marshall's too, just to get like all my errands done, because I'd rather do them all at one time than just sections you know so i'm gonna head to marshall's i'll give you a whole haul of everything i got when i get home but yeah rocco boy had a rough time at home alone didn't you why were you so loud huh why didn't you just take a nap good boy really quickly though i'm gonna have a snack obviously built bars are my go-to favorite snack this is the lemon almond cheesecake one honestly delicious i was holding off trying this one for a while because it just didn't sound too appetizing to me but 10 out of 10 always it's a 100 percent real chocolate bar with zero guilt i love microwaving mine i put them in for 14 seconds exactly and they are the perfect consistency it's just like eating a dessert bar and it's so good so there are so many different flavors of built bars you guys have to check them out you can use my code laurendon10 or click the link down below for 10 percent off your entire order definitely check them out you guys they are the best things to have happened to my stomach they're a blessing i love them so much so please go try them i beg you now that i'm home I'm gonna give you a big haul of everything that I got to start off with Target I just got a bunch of necessities kind of, of like everything I needed so I got more body wash this matches my 
sweater perfectly. <laughs> this is the one I usually get, but they didn't have it in the big size, so I got a mini one to leave at Keikoa's when I go up there to use. This is like a new one, I think. It's Berry Balance. It smells good, so I'm okay with not having the other one. I got more poop bags because I wasn't planning on going to Marshall's, and I usually get them like there with TJ Maxx or something, so I just got them at Target. Um, this is 120 count ones. Yeah, I got some of those because I need some. I also got this cooktop daily cleaner. It's for glass cooktops, which I have. So I'm excited about this because nothing I use like actually cleans my stove top, which is annoying. So I hope that really works and I'm excited. I got more cotton rounds and then I also got more micellar water because I am about to run out. So I needed some more. And this is the mattifying one. So for oily skin and sensitive skin, that's the one I like the best. This needs to go in the fridge ASAP. <laughs> because it was sitting in my hot car. But I got more vegan cream cheese. This is my favorite one, vegan cream cheese. And then like their plant-based stuff was buy one get one 25% off. So I saw this cheese and I wanted to try it. So it's vegan cheese slices. And lastly, something, oh, this fell out, but for Rocco, little bones. It says they're made with real maple wood. They're bacon flavor and they're for softer chewers. For puppies under 15 pounds. Just weighed him yesterday. He's actually 16 pounds, so <laughs> sorry. Rocco, you want this? You want this? You want your boom? Get it. Get it, good boy. Get it, good boy. Bite it. Ooh, good boy. I don't know. I don't think he knows how to feel about it. But that's everything I got from Target. And then I went to Marshall's. I got a few things. I've been wanting to get new, um, like, pots and pans and stuff. And so I decided to just get a couple that are cute and that, like, kind of match together. Everyone has probably seen this line before at, like, the TJ Maxx type of stores. But they're just these non-stick skillets in this really pretty just beige color. I got a little one because I always wanted, like, a smaller one to just to cook eggs in which I do a lot and I have to use the big one that I have which is annoying and then I also got a pot for like pastas and stuff and then since I've literally been baking so much I got a hand mixer because I it's just gonna be so much easier to use this baby than my normal hand so this is $20 and originally 30 so that's a steal and then I saw this dress and I thought it was really cute do I need more clothes no but I thought this was so adorable it's just like this midi dress kind of and it has buttons up and down the front and it's just this really pretty print little dotted print i think it's cute it's getting hotter here so i'm gonna be using things like this a lot more and then lastly i just picked up this little um card wallet because i wanted one that's more compact and just easier to grab and use than like a bulky one that i have so this is really cute it's by the brand and klein that's all i got from the stores hope you enjoy my little haul i'm gonna put everything away once i rest for a little bit it is 3.05. It's actually still so early in the day and it feels so late. It's just felt like a very long day and I've just been chilling for a little bit watching a video. Um, I'm actually having like ear like no pain at all but it's like I, it sounds muffled and like windy if that makes any sense i posted about it on my instagram story and so many people are doing me about it but it just sounds muffled and i don't know if it's earwax if it's water or if it's an ear infection coming on because that's what a lot of people are saying and i really hope not so um i think i'm gonna go to the store and get some like earwax drops because i saw bonds has some and there's a bonds pretty close so i might just go there but yeah we'll see I don't really, I don't want to go because I don't want to leave Rocco again. Ah, the struggles. But I do feel like I should go and get some. I don't want this to turn into an ear infection, whatever it is. Hopefully it doesn't. I am going to get some work done right now though because I haven't done really anything today. I did get a lot of work done this weekend while I was visiting Keikoa because while he studies, I do homework. So that works out pretty well for us because then I get kind of ahead for the week. I wrote down everything that I have due this week on my desktop, which is on like sticky notes. I've been loving to do this because it's just a lot easier for me to see and then for me to delete once I'm done. Right now, I'm going to do a Spanish discussion board video because I have to do this every single week. So I'm just going to record that. I already like 
wrote the script and everything. So this is gonna be easy. I just really have to record it and then turn it in. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and get that knocked off my list. Uno. Cuando vi el mar por primera vez, era un bebé muy pequeño. Dos. He aprendido a cocinar mucho más recientemente desde que me mudé solo. Pinterest me enseñó a cocinar. Tres. La película de Disney que era mi favorita cuando era niña era Ratatouille. Cuatro. Cuando era niña, mis padres se neban y veían una película para relajarse. 5. Recientemente me he estado enojado con mi cachorro porque hace cosas para hacerme enojar. Me enoje porque muerde, ladra y hace cosas que hacen las cachorros. Okay, I just did that and that's over with. Only one other person has posted it so far, but it's due tomorrow, so I have to wait for another person to post their discussion so that I can respond to it because I have to do two responses. I'm really excited for dinner tonight because I'm going to make a HelloFresh meal. I, not sponsored, but I ordered HelloFresh last week and I accidentally ordered two boxes. So now I have like six meals that I need to cook before they go bad. Um, I've cooked one and I gave my mom one um, because three of them I didn't even choose the food of so they aren't even like things that I would necessarily choose and one of them was like a super cheesy like something so I need to give it to my mom because I can't have a lot of cheese but um i'm excited for that and you guys will watch me cook my hello fresh meal tonight probably i think i'm just gonna go and fold on my laundry that i started earlier do some more loads because i have quite a bit to catch up on and rocco's taking a nap right now so this is my time to like get stuff done so i need to get stuff done so let's get stuff done <laughs> hi good boy hi good boy he's so cute just want to sleep huh he loves his new bones, by the way. I love you, Taco. Okay guys, so I ended up just walking to the store and picking up this Debrox earwax removal kit. I don't even know if it's earwax when I'm feeling, but if it is, hopefully um, this will help it. So we're gonna try this right now on camera. It says place five to 10 drops in ear, wait several minutes, keeping head tilted, and then repeat step one, two times daily for up to four days if needed, and then gently flush ear with warm water using soft rubber bulb syringe to remove any wax remaining after the final day of treatment so i guess we're just gonna go in with the drops first is it open oh that's a little thick okay well i don't know what i'm doing but we're gonna do it so one two three four five i think i have no idea okay and then we're just gonna stay like this for a couple minutes i'll catch you when it's been a couple minutes <laughs> okay so i did one round of this ear thing and it still feels the same so hopefully over time it'll get better like once i use it more often and frequently but that's my review first time didn't work at all but that's okay so it's 5 18 i think i'm gonna start making dinner now because i'm gonna make a hello fresh meal and then after that i'm gonna do some yoga i'm very excited i was debating between a work Workout, like a strength like weight training workout or yoga and I think since it's like my first day working out again I'm just gonna do a yoga session um, like a strength yoga session not like a meditative one because I think that's just what's best for me so I will pick one out after I make dinner but I'm gonna start making dinner now my phone's about to die it's at five percent so I need to plug it in but let's make some dinner all right this is the hell fresh meal I'm gonna make um, pecan crusted chicken with lemony roasted carrots, biscuits, and garlic thyme butter. Doesn't this just look heavenly? I'm so excited. The chicken is defrosting right now, but I'm gonna get all the ingredients out and prep everything. So in the little bag, I have the panko breadcrumbs, a lemon, some pecans, some thyme, big bag of carrots, garlic powder, some Dijon honey mustard dressing, and then lastly, oh my gosh, how cute is this? Little biscuits. So, so yummy. Okay, I'm gonna prep all this stuff now. All right, it 
is 606. I just put the carrots and the chicken in the oven. The biscuits are right here, ready to be put in. I'm also watching Caroline Manning's vlog. And yeah, just pretty much chilling, waiting for everything to cook. Rocco's been over there with his bone. He literally loves it. The ones that I got him at Target today. So if you have a puppy, I, I recommend you check them out because they are really good. Oh, Rock. Oh, Rocco. You love your bones. Where's your bone? Where's your bone? Where's your bone? Ew, it's all slimy. He loves it. And he's getting so big. I take weekly progress pictures with him on Sundays. So I need to remember to take one today. But, oh my gosh. He's... Oh, sorry. So big. I need to remember to schedule his vet appointment tomorrow when they're open. So someone please remind me to do that. I think the oven is done. So let's go check on the food. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yum. Oh my gosh. And look at these biscuits. They're like golden brown. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna assemble this plate. Okay, my dinner is finally ready. I'm so excited to eat this. It literally looks so good. And I have a little beggar boy over here. But these biscuits, Pillsbury biscuits are literally my favorite. So let's just take a bite. Mm. Okay, now let's try a carrot. Delicious piece of chicken. 10 out of 10. I have nothing but good things to say. Literally, I'm, I'm a chef, even though I just follow directions, but mm. So good. I have to tell you, I've been binging Ginny and Georgia on Netflix if you haven't seen it. It's just a really like, Baby Hay described it as like a very lighthearted show. I really resonated with that because I love watching lighthearted like just silly shows on Netflix. Um, and I 10 out of 10 recommend Ginny and Georgia. It's just, it's just really interesting and like really cute. So I'm on episode 8 I think. So I have a few more until the season's done. But yeah, I'm really liking it. Also with Keikoa though, we're watching The Sinner. Um, we've loved that show so much forever and they came out with season three a while ago but we never watched it so we're on season three right now it's also so good the center is so good as well so the center and Ginny and Georgia are my two shows right now because the bachelor just ended so I'm gonna watch an episode and then eat my dinner <laughs> Okay, I just finished dinner, watched another episode of Ginny and Georgia because I'm obsessed, but now it's time to get off my butt and finally do something that I have literally been putting off for months now, and I'm not even kidding about this. It's literally been months since I've done any sort of like intentional physical activity. So here we are. I put on a really cute workout outfit, which is from Gymshark. It's the Whitney Simmons Gymshark line. I have this long sleeve red workout top, and then also these same red little biker shorts and I'm very excited to wear them. Rocco is joining us right now. It's his crazy time so I don't know how I'm gonna end up doing this but we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> I used to be in love with going to the gym. I've never been like obsessed with the gym but I always go into like spurts of going to the gym and working out for like a few weeks straight and then I'll be over it and then I won't go for like a few weeks. So I am going to start a little yoga session right now. I may not be very zen because of well, puppy Rocco here, but I'm gonna get a little sweat in and I'm very excited for how it's gonna make me feel. So I'm going to do this core conditioning to Yoga Flow. It's by Lauren Musselman. It's a fully body weight conditioning class and it says activate the core systems of the body and jumpstart your workout with this 15 minute sweat session. It's a great way to support your yoga practice and start your day feeling stronger or end your day feeling stronger because that's what I'm doing. But I'm going to begin this class now. Get to flow -ins. So let's do some yoga. I'ma be a fuse, boom. Paint a baby, you can be the muse. I'm the reporter, baby, you can be the news. Cause you're the cigarette, and I'm a smoker. You raise a pay, cause you're the joker. I checked off, and you're a chalk. I can be the black boy, you can be the walk, ayy. Hey. Even when the sky comes falling. Wow, okay, I feel like a new woman, low-key. I even put Rocco to sleep in the middle of it, and he was so crazy when I first started, so... 
that says something it really does zen you out so i feel so much better even from just literally doing a 15 minute yoga flow like my just i don't i don't know it's just amazing it's just amazing how it can make you feel so good from not even doing that much just putting your body to a little bit of work take it from me i know that you probably don't want to work out you don't want to do any type of physical activity because me too i don't i really don't i as much as i want to love it and as much as i want to get back into the routine of like sweating and working out and getting my heart rate up like it's just i'm i'm not motivated i'm not and that's just the end of it so no excuse excuses for me anymore. I'm getting back into it and I feel good. But it is nine o'clock now. I'm going to go change, get ready for bed, start doing my skincare and all that. I still have a load of laundry in the dryer, but that's okay because it's going to be done tomorrow and then I'll just finish it tomorrow. But yeah, I have an early class tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to head to bed pretty early tonight. Um, well, early as I can, but I'm gonna go get ready for bed now. So let's go do that. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here because I'm just gonna head to bed right now. I just called Keikoa and we talked for a little bit, but it's time to go to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Rocco says good night too, but he's already passed out, so.